हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू डूइंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर कीपिंग ग्रेट माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड द सी बी एस ई ट्वेल्थ बोर्ड एग्जाम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एग्जाम पैटर्न पेपर पैटर्न इवन बिफोर यू एपियर फॉर द एग्जाम सो दैट्स वाई आई हैव कम अप विद वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू दैट इज सी बी एस ई क्लास क्लास ट्वेल्थ बोर्ड एग्जाम पैटर्न 2024 and this is a must watch video so in this particular video i'm going to cover uh, with respect to all the subjects that is pcmb so uh, i'm going to tell you what type of question that is with respect to the competency or maybe the comprehensive or you know memory so with respect to all of these things uh, you know what is the percentage of the questions that you can expect and uh, i'm also going to tell you uh, i'm also going to show you how the difference uh like how, how what exactly you can make out what is the different uh, things or aspects that you can make out in uh, academic year 2024 compared to 2023 so without wasting much time let's get started by the way my dear students if you are preparing for cbsc 12 boards and if you have the subjects like pcmb physics chemistry maths biology and you are looking if you are looking for a board booster uh you know courses we have a board booster course for all of you and uh, uh, which already started that is uh, it will be starting from uh, you know jan first week so you can uh, if you want to know more about this particular board booster for class 12th pcmb 2024 you can check the description box and you can uh, buy the course fine so composition of question paper for board examination that is 2023 so last year if you come uh, you know if you consider competency based questions were 30 percentage in the form of multiple choice questions which also include also case based uh, questions source based integrated questions or any other type and then objective questions were 20 percentage and remaining 50 percentage questions were short answer or long and uh, long answer based type of a question but this uh, this year if you consider what is the major difference that you can make out uh, in this year cbsc 2024 is yeah definitely 20 percentage of the mcq based questions you have got uh, like you can expect in your final exam uh, that is 2024 right class 12th uh, academic year 2024 and cumulative of 40 percentage of the questions in the final examination will be competency based which will be also including mcqs source based based and case based case study based questions so what major difference you can make out is you can expect more you can expect more mcq questions or and more competency based questions this time because last time it was just 30 percentage right now it is 40 percentage right apart from the 20 percentage of the mcqs there is going to be 40 percentage of the questions in the final exams which is competency based encompassing mcqs source based even case based questions right and remaining 40 percentage of the total questions are going to be long answer and short answer but last year it was 50 percentage right so what exactly they have done is this year they reduced uh you know long and short uh, answer type of questions uh and uh, you can just see it's 40 percentage this year last year it was 50 percentage and that remaining 10 percentage they this this year they they can ask you questions uh from the cumulative i mean the competency based or case based questions case study based questions as such so you have to prepare well prepare better uh this time because this time maybe the difficulty level is going to be little more so why did i say difficulty level because usually students will be finding difficult to answer case based study type of a questions competency based type of a questions so this year those questions are going to going to be more compared to the last year right so that is why i said difficulty level would be little more compared to last year question paper right now so let's understand about the uh, you know regarding the number of questions so 
physics chemistry uh, and biology if you consider based upon the sample question paper uh, multiple choice questions are uh, uh, 16 which also includes assertion and reasoning reasoning type of a question even last year also you had this type of a question so this this year also you can expect definitely you can you can uh, get it because in the sample question paper they had given assertion and reasoning type of a question right so that is going to be uh, 16 and all are compulsory questions okay so each question will be carrying one mark so that's how you will be getting 16 uh, in the part a right you may wonder mom which is the important chapter from which we can expect maximum mcqs or maximum case based study question so we will have a separate video for this uh, where uh, especially in biology we will tell you from which chapter you can expect a particular type of a question and which is the highest weighted chapter uh, and uh, as such right however in the uh, official cbsc website if you see they have given which units are important but we will tell you which chapter is important fine now short answer questions there are 15 that is it is a two marker question right and there is another short answer questions that is three marker uh, question and uh, it is going to be five two marker question seven three marker questions and case based source based or passage based integrated assessment question that is i find that students will be finding this part d quite difficult because of such questions so you can expect two questions there would be some internal choice however but uh, as is there is no choice in any of the section but internal choice would be there so uh, there would be two questions and the marks would be four so part d each question will be carrying four mark Uh, C three, B two marks, A one mark each, and the last part is that is E uh, would be carrying uh, uh, three questions, and uh, each question will be carrying five marks. So that is about physics, chemistry, and biology uh, questions. Uh, you know pattern. Whereas in the case of maths, this is maths. It is little dif dif different. So the question paper contains five section section A B C D E. Yeah, that is normal. Like it's compulsory as well. internal choice would be there so section a has 15 mcqs in mathematics and two assertion and reasoning type of a question that is 18 plus 2 20 would be uh, multiple choice question right uh, including assertion and reasoning type of a question part b has five very short answers question which is of two marks part c would be having six short answer questions that is of three marks each Uh, section D would be having four long answer questions, five mark each. Uh, e would be having three source based, uh, case based passage type of a question, uh, four marks each, right? So there is going to be little difference, very little difference compared to, uh, you know, physics, chemistry, and biology. And why this difference? Because the exam is of eighty marks, whereas physics, chemistry, and uh, biology, the exam is of exam is for. Seventy marks, right? And thirty marks is for practical. Here, that other twenty marks, like eighty plus twenty, no, it is. So eighty marks is theory. Twenty marks is for internal assessment. Again, in the official CBSC, you would be knowing already that how this twenty marks distribution would be there, right? So <clears throat> that is how you can expect, uh, you know, different type of question, right? So, uh. i also have to show you something very important that is yeah so sample question paper of 2023 2024 that is this year this academic year 2024 if you consider uh, if i just scroll the question paper what you can make out is yeah you can see first uh, 16 questions are mcqs which also includes assertion and reasoning type of a question and you can make out by looking at the question paper that it's little difficult compared to or it is uh, the competency is little more or you can expect case based study questions competent based questions so it is not a direct question as such so little bit of application based questions you can expect so that is what you can make out by looking at the question paper so that there are a lot of <coughs> there are a lot of passages there are a lot of diagrams uh, which uh, questions are based out of these diagrams as such right but last year sample question paper if you open it is just plain with a direct question and you are supposed to answer but here you can expect over here see uh, <clears throat> with the image they have given to label 
and uh, so uh, sort of indirect questions you can expect more compared to last year so basically the question paper is going to be very interesting but i know students would be finding little difficult compared to the last year right fine so let's see <clears throat> um if you consider mathematics what type of a question typology of questions which has been released by cbsc itself so we will quickly go through so uh 55 percentage of the entire uh, you know question paper weightage would be on the remembering basis so the remembering mean in the sense it would be with respect to the formula so you have to remember the formula and the question uh, would be relate directly related to formula so exhibit memory of previously learned material by recalling facts term basic concepts and answers and also it would be of understanding that is demonstrate understanding of facts ideas by organizing comparing translating interpreting uh, stating description right and the next type of question would be the application based and uh, the weightage is 25 percentage that is of total 20 marks and then the third typology of the questions would be analyzing type of a question and evaluating and creating so the uh, percentage is 20 once again so you can expect some uh, uh, you know 16 questions sorry 16 marks would be based upon these so that is with respect to mathematics right now with respect to physics if you see um, yeah this is with respect to physics so this is with respect to physics so in uh, physics 38 percentage would be based upon the remembering and understanding right 32 percentage would be the application based 30 percentage questions would be analyzing evaluating and creating right so if you want to understand what comes under application uh, analyzing evaluating we have the uh, explanation over here right and the next that is in chemistry uh, that 40 percentage is based upon the uh, remembering and understanding and uh, 30 percentage would be application based and then 30 percentage that is 21 marks would be based upon analyzing evaluating and creating and next comes with biology uh, if you consider biology 50 percentage would be based upon the understanding and demonstration right um, and uh, uh, like you can make out over here source based okay i had to, I had to show something yeah so what exactly comes under uh, competency demonstrate knowledge so that description has been given i'm going to show that once again so application based questions you can expect 30 percentage in the entire question paper and 20 percentage would be analyzing evaluating and creating right so uh, i have given the suggestive word uh, you know verb so when in, when it comes to biology application of knowledge means what like what exactly will be coming under this that is calculative calculation related question illustrative adapt explain distinguish that sort of a question analyze means you have to interpret with the help of a graph if they would have been given a particular graph and you have to interpret analyze compare contrast examine evaluate discuss construct so that sort of a wordings they can use right that sort of a question uh, you can expect in demonstrate it would be simple like state name list so easy type of a question you can expect under this this would be a little interesting students might be finding a little difficult and this would be of medium level right so that is how uh, you know you can expect questions and that is what is the percentage of uh, you know uh, different criteria in physics chemistry maths and biology and very soon we will be giving you video where we will be telling you specifically in biology if you consider what would be important chapters from which chapter you can expect diagrams which from which chapter you can expect a uh, calculative based of a question application based of a question illustrative graph related questions so we will be we, we will be telling you very soon so until uh, then keep studying hope for uh, getting 95 percentage and above in pcmb and if you want help you have a board booster class 12th 2024 so that's all for today let's meet in the next video until then bye